upload it uh, to your uh, web builder and use it to uh, make changes to your site. Uh, this tutorial assumes that you know how to read HTML code and also understand some understanding of Cascades uh, styles as well. What we do first is to examine our site and uh, make sure we understand what we have on our current template so this way we can look out for any new templates and make sure they meet the uh, criteria of what you need to have. A quick view here, uh, we have a header area which is on top of our site. Our menu is in, uh, followed by our, our header which is uh, going to, uh, horizontally uh, versus a vertical menu. Uh, we also have our site is broken down into two columns. One is has the our counter and our news area and the other one is the actual content of the page. Uh, we need to make sure we understand this before we proceed in finding another template. It doesn't really matter if you get another template off of uh, another website or anything like that as long as it matches something similar to what your current template has. Uh, this one we're going to use uh, this raw HKO uh, template that we are going to download from free CSS templates and use this uh, to make the uh, transition from our old template site to this particular view here. We are do we are going to do some some changes to some of the images on this particular site to match that of our current site. First thing is to make sure that you understand the uh, setup of the web builder and how it's it is uh, uh, defined and how it defines each individual fields and what else is there hidden within the current template. Uh, this way we can add that to our new template that we are going to input in our site. Uh, by doing so we are going to go over to the layout design and uh, also the config uh, menus within their web builder administration panel. Uh, we continue to look through our, t our layout design. Uh, we will see certain fields with uh, uh, brackets and parentheses with a uh, naming scheme in between them. These are very important and need to be identified and find out where are they located within the template uh, so we can import that information over to our new template and thus uh, cre creating the visual effects of our of our website and match that what we currently have, for example, the content and the news area, they all will match and and the the scripts written for this particular site are are look for these on these templates. And within any HTML, uh, there are hidden elements that we don't, are not visible here, and it's required that we look into the HTML code to find the other. For example, here, the uh, meta codes are hidden from us, and we need to look at the actual template uh, file to to look and institute so we can see what in, uh, they have in in that code. For example, here we have our metal codes uh, that have our content uh, type, also our description and keywords, which we are normally type this information on the configurations, and also to include the title of the page of the site uh, or the web page. What we'll do is I'll just scan through these real quick, showing you that they're in different locations, and uh, we'll identify those on the new template as well. OK, 
Okay, the next thing that we need to do is also is uh, download our template and extract it. Uh, we're probably going to be presented with the uh, HTML document, maybe the CSS file. If it's not in, already in the HTML document, it will be an external file. And of course, any images associated might be in a folder or we might be in within the root directory. Either way, you need to look at all the files that are available to you and uh, make sure that uh, that you understand which other files uh, belong to what section of your template before proceeding. To, to continue on, we are need to get familiar with how is the naming scheme for the template and how it's identified with the uh, web builder. And to do this, uh, we will need to log in through an FTP, uh, either to a client software or through the provided uh, FTP web on the cPanel within uh, 000webhost.com. As you can see here, our template uh, is has a naming uh, scheme of first having a template by, followed by an underscore and then the actual template name. Uh, we are going to use this scheme as well and rename our, our new uh, downloaded uh, template and, and name it as, as such with the actual name of the template that was provided by uh, the, um, the CSS templates website. And this is how we are going to name our template from now on and reference it as a Roth KO uh, from this point on. As a matter of fact, we are end up going to change all the files names to have this. So this way, none of these styles or images uh, get overwritten. And uh, we will be changing that those names, uh, of course, on, onto the HTML document as well. What we're going to do is uh, we are going to open up our our HTML document and start uh, getting familiar with it and reviewing it and see what locations need to be um, named and compare with the current template. This way we can replace the text that needs to be replaced such as the meta uh, contents and also the title page as you can see right away see right here. One thing before we forget or do anything else is to rename all the other files with our template name. In this case, it's going to be ROTHKO underscore. Uh, this way, we can identify the, all the files that pertain to this template to this particular template file. So when we upload it, none of them get mixed up or get overwritten and everything is referenced over by this template. So we choose to to change templates within either by seasons or times or anything like that. Everything will follow through and we don't have to worry about overriding certain files.